Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts. Thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough of the eight different methods that I use for composting. Some of them are a little more edgy, let's say. Kind of experimenting with one I think you'll find interesting, perhaps revolting. get started. First we're gonna make a stop at worm composting. You can see the worms have digested the vegetable matter I put in here quite well. They're probably ready to move out so we'll be building a new bin for them here soon. This is a nice simple DIY video on how to make this worm bin. It's actually very inexpensive and pretty easy to make. This particular bin is built just out of two buckets stacked um, got one that's lower th so that the compost tea can drain out of the bottom into this bottom bucket for capture. So you got some screens here glued into the top, keeps the flies out. Moving on to what I call the two bucket roller. This is a, another simple project using two buckets. This one's getting a little worn out. This is my prototype. And inside you can see I've got some nicely aged compost. You can see the row of bolts along the edge there. The bolts kind of take a corkscrew shape and that allows me to roll this thing with my feet and turn that compost. Of course these things are black because I want the heat of the sun to warm up the inside to help break down the compost. Here's a very simple composting unit just a, a pot that I've buried in the ground partially and I use the part that would normally go under the pot as the lid. I've got this strategically positioned behind a rock here so it cannot be seen from the house. I'll pull this out and you can see the hole it's in. I've actually lined this hole with some hay so that the bugs can kind of move from inside the pot to outside the pot. I think when I do the DIY video on this particular composting unit, I'm going to cut some more holes in the sides of the pot to allow more action between the, the critters and the compost because they're the ones doing the work on this one. So this one I just emptied. It's pretty fresh, but I'll start that out with a bed of leaves. Other than a pile, this is probably the easiest of my homemade composting units to make. Moving on to what I call my leaf walls. <laughs> I've actually made some fencing of sorts out of concrete screen, which I've joined with simple wire hangers. And I stuff those with leaves, which provides a nice barrier for my little work area back here. You can see the mushroom logs in effect, newly set. So no mushrooms on these just yet, but that's another video. So these things were full about three months ago. And as the leaves and dirt and sticks and greens that I put in here get heavier, they push down and eventually will be soil. So when it's ready, I'll just slide these things up off the top or cut the wires at the corners, pull them apart, and then just dig through that compost. So here's really the only commercial compost unit that I got. It's an earth machine. So I bought this for about 50 bucks from a local Keep America Beautiful affiliate. Very easy to set up. You can see I've got some compost that's nearly completed. Another few weeks on that. A DIY video on how to set this thing up. Very easy to set up. You can see I got a mess back here. Got some paint buckets there I'm gonna use to make some worm bins and composters. We'll have videos for you on that. All right, moving on to my most recent composting unit, which is made from some crepe myrtle scraps. A friend of mine had a bunch of these in his yard and Trevor and I did a video about making this compost bin that's quite quite beautiful I think from crepe myrtle trimmings. We cut them into poles and whips which are the long straight sticks that a lot of people prune off every year and we had a lot of fun making this. It's beauty and imperfection. A little bit out of round right there but you know it'll work. Got one here we're trying. Didn't count this as my eight. 
because it's kind of the same thing. Try one with just the posts around the outside, seeing how that works to help get a pile a little taller. And then just a straight up pile over here. Lots of sticks in this one though, so it's going to take a little longer. So I don't put a lot of the kitchen waste in this pile or this one. Uh, they're more for yard waste and stuff that's just falling down here in the woods. All right, so this brings us to the most edgy of my composting methods, but perhaps one of the most effective in terms of reducing the amount of kitchen and spoiled leftovers that would have gone in my trash. And it's also the most experimental component of my composting options. And that is the soldier fly larva. So I've got a just a simple two bin system here and uh, not very sophisticated. This top bin here uh, drains into the bottom and it's also got an opening right here that handles cut out on the inside that allows the adults when they're ready to pupate to, to move down into the bottom bin here. So we can see some of those down here. They're adults, they get to be black. These leaves in here so they can hide and feel like they're safe. These guys are actually a great food source for aquaponics, for fish. Um, they're high percentage of fat and protein and fish love them. You're converting your waste into a food product for what is potentially then food for you. Let's take a look inside. Got some leftovers in here that got left in the car so they're eating. You can see these guys go pretty crazy. Let's pull up a plate and see what's underneath. The nice thing is these paper plates uh, will actually get eaten as well. So there's the boys in effect there. We refer to them as the boys for my wife's sake. She isn't very thrilled that these are in the repertoire of composting for the Mills family. You can see some different sizes of these guys here. There's some babies that are coming up. So if you're interested in seeing how to build the soldier fly larva composting system, I'd be happy to make a video on that. Woo. There you have it, eight different composting options in my uh, backyard. Perhaps there's one in that group that struck you as, hey, I can do that. That's the purpose of me having multiple options is to not only figure out what works best for me, but to help you see what you can do in your own backyard. Composting is actually an amazing way to reduce the amount of stuff that you're putting in the trash. And it's a great way to close your loop. If you're composting effectively, you can reduce your trash by up to 80%. That's huge. So I hope this little backyard adventure inspired you to find a composting method that fits you and fits your family and start cutting back on what you throw away and turn it into valuable nutrient rich soil for your yard. Please comment on this video. Let me know if the soldier flies were gross or if you'd like to see a video about how I built that system. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more Green Shorts DIY. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Join the community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and help spread the green by liking our videos and sharing with your friends. GreenShortsDIY.com That's shorts with a Z.